All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. What uh, the last uh, video I showed you, we hooked up that Starlink. We just ran the cable across the yard and we had it sitting right out there. And it was a decent spot, but it wasn't good enough. And I wanted to get a better spot. So I'm showing you guys how to bury the cable in conduit, how to pull wire through the conduit, how to how to put a string through there and all that good stuff. Which end of the, of the cable to use? Uh, I did have to buy the 150 foot cable and I pulled that through the conduit and here she is. So there is the new Starlink mount and uh, it's a better location. And um, here we go, I'll show you what we did. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. All right guys, now we're gonna dig a trench. I'm gonna use a couple of these form stakes right here and a piece of string for my guideline. And then uh, pull out the trencher and start trenching. Well, as you can see, I got about 18 inches down and through this whole driveway, there's quite a bit of rock in here. So that thing was bucking and bouncing quite a bit, but uh, better done. Got a couple spots where it's, uh, I want to go a little bit, I'll use do that by hand. But uh, yeah, that's going to work. Okay, oh, trench is done. Looks like I missed my hole by about a foot and a half, but that's okay. I'll dig a new hole right here, it didn't really matter. Trench is done. I'm gonna get glue and pipe and put it in the hole. Stand by. All right, guys, I don't know what happened. I, I must not have had my mic plugged in on my, on my camera properly. Either way, I lost a bunch of audio and a bunch of these clips showing you guys how to glue together PVC pipe. What I'm showing you is the difference between gray electrical pipe that is UV resistant and can withstand the sun's rays by being exposed outside in the weather. And, uh, and it lasts for a long time. However, it's $17 for a 10 foot stick. And I'm showing you the white stuff for the one inch was about $12 a stick. That is not UV resistant. It will dry out and become brittle over time and exposed to ultraviolet rays. And then using the right kind of color cutters so that you can cut these things. You can use a, a hacksaw blade or whatever you want to use to, to cut it. Just try and get as square of a, of a cut as you can. And uh, then glue. And make sure you use the right glues when you're putting that stuff together. Invariably, you're gonna get a little bit of dirt on the end of these pipes. You just time to take a rag, wipe off that. Now, when you go to use the red hot blue glue, you don't need tons and tons of it, but you definitely want to coat all the way around the inside on both ends. Make sure you get a nice good coat on the inside. For a good waterproof joint, you want to go further than the midpoint of this piece. That way when you push it on, you can see the glue uh, beating up on the one side. There, do you guys see that glue beating up right there? That's a little extra, but that's okay. I'd rather have a little extra than not enough sticking out. This is going to be a, a perfect seal. It makes a chemical bond, melts the plastics together, and it's a perfect watertight seal. You want a watertight seal and so on and so forth, all the way down. Now the beautiful thing about this flared end with this electrical conduit is it's already got the flare. I don't need a joint. I'm just gonna make sure, I don't need a coupler. I just gotta make sure the pipes are clean. Now this is a little bit deeper of a connection, so you wanna make sure, and that's why electrical conduit has longer flares so that this joint, this piece of pipe will actually go in almost two inches. So I'm gonna actually add some more glue. And they wanna make sure, because this is gonna be electrical conduit, that there's no chance of water getting in here. There we go.
After we laid all the pipe, we set it in the hole and I plumbed it up using some form stakes. That way we could put some cement in there and it would be a nice solid base. Guys, okay, super, super simple. Digging a hole 30 inches deep. Got the pipe running all the way to the very bottom. And I've got my conduit on the outside and it comes up right to the bottom where the egg or pipe's gonna go on. Get it all plumbed up. We are good to go. We're gonna pour some cement. Well, we let that cement dry overnight and uh, checked it for solid. That thing was solid as a rock, well, as concrete anyway. We put a bag over the top of it just to make sure there was no rain was going to get in because it rained the night before after we finished putting all that pipe in. And uh, now we're ready to start uh, pulling some wire. All right, what I'm showing you right here is how to put a string through the pipe. Went ahead and glued all the pipe together and laid it in the trench, and then we covered the trench over, and uh, we're gonna put that string through there. That way we can pull the wire through. And I'm using a little piece of foam tape or some foam packing, and I'm kind of tying it in a, in a little wad. That way it makes like a little kite. And I'm gonna put that on the end of the string. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm using my compressor to try and blow that little kite through the pipe. And remember, I've got about 85, maybe maybe 90 feet of pipe that I've got to blow that string through. Unfortunately, that little compressor that I had wasn't strong enough. It didn't have enough air uh, capacity to blow the string through. So we went to plan B. Plan B, we used a vacuum cleaner and I just kind of filled up the air gaps. You could actually put tape on there if you really wanted to. And Olivia was feeding the string back through uh, the other end to me. And uh, so as we kept sucking on the pipe and pulling that string through, and eventually we made it. All right, we got the string sucked all the way through the pipe. And now we're going to pull the cable through. And you can see what I did right there was a one little slip knot. And then I'm going to do two half hitches in order to pull that cable straight. You can see the red tape that I put on the end of that connector. And that's the connector that goes into the actual satellite itself, to the dish itself outside. I put some tape on there to protect that end and make sure I didn't bang it or pull it too hard and, and crinkle it or whatever. So I did that little cinch knot, uh, then I did the two half hitches. That way I could pull it through the pipe and it would be super, super strong. Now you have to use the straight end of that cable. That's the end that goes into the dish outside. The other end has a 90 degree bend in the fitting and you can't pull it through that conduit unless you're using like three inch conduit. But that's just kind of pointless. That's the one that you're gonna pull. You're gonna start from the house and you're gonna pull out to the dish. So make sure you plan ahead and do it that way. Now this next step, you have to have two people. Because that cable is kind of grippy, it's kind of soft rubber, and uh, you're gonna have one person pulling on one end and you're feeding it through the other end. And I used one of those, what's called a pull box, it's a 90 degree, and uh, that came out of the house from the actual Wi-Fi inside and we ran it through into the basement and out through that pull box. And then Olivia is on the other end and she is pulling the string. Uh, as, long as, I'm, as long as I'm feeding it to her, it, it, it pulled pretty easily. So it really wasn't too bad. And she's down there at the other end and she's pulling the string. And then you get all the way to the other end and you're home free. I think she was waiting for me to feed some more through. Don't let go of it, otherwise it'll drop back down inside. Now as long as you tie those knots nice and tight and you put some tape on it, you're gonna be good to go and you'll be successful just like that. Now I taped up those knots as you can see right there. It was more than just a tip. After I tied that 
that cinch knot and uh, the slip knot and the two and the two half hitches and I put tape on it that way it was nice and tight and then once uh, once we get the other end out you're home free guys for this pipe I used one and a half inch galvanized steel pipe and you can see the slot that I cut in that pipe and it fits right around the shaft of that Starlink now you look at see where the cable plugs in where that little shoulder is the pipe goes right up against the bottom of that shoulder you plug the cable in then you put it in the pipe and I use a pipe clamp to clamp that pipe down I cut a slot out of it so I had room to get tight and then I cranked that pipe clamp down really really tight if you want to be safest you can put on two pipe clamps that thing is super solid it isn't going anywhere so you can see how we wired up the, the extracts wire just in case I have to take that thing down for service and I zip tight everything up nice I'm gonna fill the end of that PVC elbow right there with some expandable foam just to make it weather tight but that thing is solid it's not going anywhere and that's the easiest way to attach it nothing special you could even put a screw through it, I think, if you want. I don't think there's anything that's set, uh, inside of that thing, but um, that's my mount, guys. Really, really easy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys learned something. If uh, Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you got any suggestions. So far, this is working absolutely fabulous, and uh, we're loving our Internet up here. Um, we're able to do everything that we need to do uh, from home. We don't have to go into town anymore, so it's pretty fantastic. Download speeds, upload speeds are great. Once in a while, I get some weather coming through and um, seems to affect it a little bit. We get a little bit of a, of a hesitation, but for the most part, it's been flawless. So thanks you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. We've got some more stuff coming up. See you in the next video.